millions of people on the East Coast now know what it's like to live through an earthquake. A rare and powerful quake weighing in as a magnitude 5.8 struck around 1 in the afternoon. It was centered in Mineral, Virginia, but tremors could be felt from Washington, D.C. up to New York, Massachusetts, and even Canada. It was the strongest earthquake to hit the East Coast in decades. The hardest hit area was Louisa County, Virginia. Authorities there declared a state of emergency and closed a nuclear power plant. Fortunately, no serious injuries have been reported and the quake caused minor damage to some buildings. In central Pennsylvania, weathercaster Jeanette Collier was caught off guard by the quake while delivering a forecast. Why is everything shaking? Look at the lights. Let me get away from under here. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that might be a good idea. In Washington, D.C., three of the four pinnacles on the top of the National Cathedral were damaged. Small chunks of rubble fell to the street below. So for more on this this morning, we are joined by CBS News consultant Dr. Christopher Schultz. Thanks for being with us. You're welcome. Well, talk just a little bit about this earthquake. Um, why was it felt over such a large area everywhere from Virginia all the way up to Canada? Well, on the East Coast, the, 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 it's tectonically inactive. It has been for a very long time. So the Earth's crust is cold and it's very solid and elastic. So the waves propagate a long way. Were you surprised at all how many people felt it? Yeah, because it's not a very big earthquake, yeah. and yet uh, it's uh, felt for very long distances. Because the, you know, the crust in the East Coast is like ringing a bell. You know, it's very uh, competent crust. It was felt throughout many different states, yet there wasn't as much damage. Why do you think that is? Because it was a, it was a fairly small quake, so the damage is really restricted to a very small region. Uh, it just felt a long way because the waves propagate very efficiently. So don't let that confuse you. The fact that it was felt so far away doesn't mean it was that big of a quake and it caused a, no, a massive amount of damage. Now, do you think this is indicative of what we could see in the future? Are we going to see stronger quakes? Well, in the East Coast, you, you, this is a pretty large earthquake for the East Coast. It's probably the largest in 60 or 70 years. So they're pretty rare, but they happen from time to time. In fact, for uh, Virginia, where it struck, it was the largest that they have, have ever seen because it, it dates back to the last earthquake, which was still, what, a 5.8, 5.9? No, the, the last earthquake in that area uh, occurred in 1885 and was only a 4.5. Hmm. So this is much larger than that. But it occurred, this earthquake occurred, occurred in a place called the Central Virginia Seismic Belt which is a curious little area in Virginia that has earthquakes all the time and nobody knows why. Uh, but this is by far the largest one that's ever occurred there. Right, exactly, and that's what I was speaking of. So let me ask you this. Why is this particular area, as you say, seeing so many different earthquakes occurring there? Oh, no one has any idea. It's a curiosity. You're the expert in this field. You don't know? <laughs> no, no, it's a complete mystery because, you yeah. see, it's a norm, it's, a, it's an tectonically active, inactive area. It has been active for 100 million years, so there's no exposed faults. Uh, it's in the Piedmont, so it's not up in the mountains, so it's all covered with thick sediments. You can't see, there's no rock exposed, you can't see the faults, and so there's no way uh, that you can really understand what's going on tectonically. Are you concerned at all about possible aftershocks? Well, it's normal for, for there to be aftershocks, but they'll be much smaller than the main shock, mm -hmm. so they'll just be felt locally. All right, so we're not going to see any damage from those either. No. There was a, a quake yesterday, in fact, in Colorado. I know it's yeah. a long ways away. We're right. talking about a different fault line, but are we in, an, I, I guess, a time, a period where we're going to see more quakes? I mean, is there any connection between these two? No, I don't think there's any connection. They're way too far apart, and they have nothing to do with each other. All right, so this is nothing to worry about. No. All right, we well, do appreciate your time and insight. Thanks for being with us, Professor. You're welcome.